How's it going, MOB fans? This is Felix from NYNews.com. Primarily, this is a Yankees channel. But before I begin, I like sports because it brings everybody together from the right and the left or the middle or whatever position you are politically. I don't care, okay? We all are interested in the same thing. At least let us have that, right? So let's say for an example that you're a Trump hater. I'm going to tell you right now, I am not. Okay, I respect the presidency of the United States. I don't care if you're a Democrat or Republican or whatever, like I said, okay? That is your opinion. So with that being said, it is your opinion. You have free speech in this country. So, J.D. Martinez was recently attacked for posting, really, an image of Adolf Hitler really attacking him, saying that, um, essentially, that dictators take people's guns. Again, J.D. Martinez has that right as an American citizen to own guns, just as you have the right to criticize them, and just as I have the right to state my opinion. So people are more mad that J.D. Martinez misquoted Hitler than they are that J.D. Martinez obviously made that post against Hitler. What kind of a country do we live in when people are angry at J.D. Martinez's personal views that he posted on his social media, on his private time, how does this make sense? How are people more angry at him rather than to being angry at dictators that throughout history, when they take people's guns or take people's weapons or suppress them, tyranny? And we'll leave that for a different subject. This is not a political channel. I know people are going to say, what are you talking about? This historic fact is this and that. But the fact of the matter is, J.D. Martinez did not mean anything negative posting an image of goddamn Adolf Hitler, an anti-Semite who obviously J.D. Martinez does not support. I do not support. Kurt Schilling does not support. I know people are trying to tie J.D. Martinez to Kurt Schilling now. God damn it, stop using disgusting figures in history to try to demonize individuals that you do not agree with politically and i call them individuals because nowadays it's so politically correct that if you call people people i mean you can't even use those terms anymore because people don't even even identify with traditional words anymore so jd martinez's family fled cuba obviously jd martinez and his family do not like dictators i know like I said, this climate of political correctness, people are going to say, what are you saying? Fidel Castro was a great man, this and that. Okay, that is your opinion. But if you have lived in Cuba or if your family lived in Cuba during Fidel Castro's reign, maybe they have a different outlook and opinion than you. Maybe, maybe. Just take that into consideration. So check this out. In my opinion, in my opinion, don't get mad. I don't care if you're a Democrat. I don't care if you're a lefty. I love you the same if you were a conservative or libertarian or whatever you want to consider yourself. We're talking about sports on this channel. This is why I run this sports channel, to bring everybody together. But what is up with the liberal media always attacking Major League Baseball, painting major leaguers as racist all the time? And out of everybody that they are painting as racist, they pick a Latino man in J.D. Martinez to label as racist. When obviously his Facebook post or Instagram post was a anti-Hitler post. This is ridiculous. People are getting upset because J.D. Martinez does not like Adolf Hitler. This is just insane. The insanity is off the charts. Stop attaching politics to sports. Stop it. Stop. And it's coming from the left. I am sorry to say, but it's coming from the left. Like I said, I love you all. All the same. But right now, go to Google, type in J.D. Martinez, and all you see is these left-leaning publications bashing Major League Baseball and J.D. Martinez. So let me ask you this question. Am I a racist now because my family came from the Dominican Republic and I am defending J.D. Martinez? This is just ridiculous. This has to stop. Stop attaching politics to sports. Just stop it. I do not see the right doing it. And if they are, point it out. I will criticize them as well. But I just see the left doing it. So we're done with that. Let's get to some Yankees news. Okay, if you're an MLB fan, this is where I'm going to talk about the Yankees. Or maybe you can stay because I am going to talk about Shohan Ohtani. There's word out there that Shohan Ohtani 
is possibly going to become rookie of the year based on war, which means wins above replacement, meaning that anytime Shohan Otani plays, his team has a better chance of winning. Everybody that's a fan of Major League Baseball knows that really Miguel Landahore in the AO is your rookie of the year. So if writers, so if people that are making these votes for rookie of the year and other awards like MVP, if they are going to start basing their votes based on war, you better start replacing that stat with average. Every time a player comes to the plate, just replace average. Have war appear. Because everywhere I go, even on Twitter, people are always pasting that stat. War, 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 war. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm sorry, folks, but I am going to have to make a new segment on this channel. There, It's just insanity out there right now. It's just insane. You have Major League Baseball being attacked every two weeks. Then you have prominent names in Major League Baseball writers who are saying that, nah, uh Miguel Endahor is not Rookie of the Year. Shohan Otani is, based on war. Wow, ridiculous. The world of ridiculous. That's my new segment. I am going to call my new segment El Mundo de los Crazies. So, New York Yankees fans and Major League Baseball fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. Keep it positive. This is a sports channel. I did create it, and others create sports channels to not be political. We all want you guys to have a healthy dialogue, no matter what your political ideology is. So leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.